that's where we've gone. I'll do an intelligence. Um, 16. Yeah, you realize. Okay. So, um, yeah, but I still wouldn't know where Mongo's you, gone. You, would not, you, you don't have much chance of catching up to Moko at this yeah. point. Yeah. So I'm just going to be hobbling over to uh, the inn <laughs> and hoping there's someone there and there's some sort of medical aid. Um, so, yeah, just start walking over to the inn uh, as slowly as possible. I guess I'm just going to go quite quickly, though. Yeah. Okay. You happen to walk across the <clears throat> library, which is just a pile of Tinder at the moment. No. No, no, not possibly libraries yet. I'm at the inn. No libraries nearby. It's funny, I'm actually getting butterflies. It's like if they think about everything, yeah. It's <laughs> cool. I seriously hope this works. And he's been evil to us. <laughs> I assume <laughs> from the fact he's been very secretive. Gorilla bread red. One mango to rule them all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you mango, awesome. you rule them all. And in the darkness uh, blinds them. Right. <laughs> I, I, I'll be right back. Would have been better if he was an elf as well. Right. Okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> while Mikashi's off, so Odo has gone back to the inn to sort of like lick his wounds, basically. And find medical assistance. Yeah. Mikashi has gone, so uh, I think it's fairly safe to assume that Odo's no. not destroyed the library. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you still might be able to. We are switching over to Victus, whom I'm going to try and describe his activities in as little detail as possible. So, oh, the impact pertains. We all know that he's a man whore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting my lips to come right now. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, do you want to wait until Makeshi goes back so she knows what happened as well? Well, it but... might not happen, so we'll see. All right, fair. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Dragon on your Skype? Mm hmm. I'll open it up. <clears throat> if, the left hand, if the left hand ones say kitten, if the right hand ones say dog. Um, am I in the same spot as I was last time? Uh, Wait. yes. Right, okay, um, I'll try, I can't remember which one it is, but left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, could you make a roll for that then, please? Yep, we'll do it. Uh, GM, roll it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> So I, okay. Um, on the wall. You are unsuccessful. Okay, one more. Ah, uh, you are unsuccessful. Okay, well with that then I'll use right. Okay, dog it is. Okay, so... Uh, um... Do you have any light? Because you can't see at night. Let me have a thing. Um, I technically do, but I want to see if there's anything else I have other than that. Um, I do have Eve with me this time. All right. So, um, could she possibly use scent? Uh, she could. That would be the survival, wouldn't it? So, plus five? Yes. Yes, it would. Uh, okay, well, they managed to get a scent, but this area is kind of full of the same scent. Even with that high roll? Jeez. Yeah, there are limits to what scent can do. I, I guess, I guess. Um, okay, so she can't really, she's not really leading me anywhere, she's just sort of sniffing around. Yeah, Pretty much. she can find all the pathways that they often use, but okay. that's not really helping much. Um, okay, well, since it uh, doesn't really, it's not going to make any any noise or anything like that with it. I assume using the last one you mentioned it's not going to make any noise, is it? Uh, no. No, I didn't think so. Okay, well I'll try that first then. Not moving. I'm just checking. Mm -hmm. uh... uh, oh, hey Logan. Hey. Oh, assuming you can hear us. Yeah, I can hear you. And speak back. <coughs> no, she can. Yay. I, I, I can hear you. So, uh, we are assuming that Tari is presently chasing down Mungo, so we are uh, currently doing something with Victus, which might be interesting to find out right, about. Okay. Okay. 
Um, just to say to Love Turtles, um, basically we went down to where the worm was, found a new secret wall, all of us blacked out, we woke up outside of the sewers along the riverbank, um, Odo was heavily damaged and uh, wow. bleeding, at which point Mungo flew into a rage and he's just gone running off. He ran to the Temple of St. Cuthbert, where Tari tried to send that everybody there was a friend, at which point Mungo ran straight off again. And he's one towards the nearest library. <laughs> he's still in a rage. <laughs> there is a duration limit on raging, you know. I know, but I'm assuming that Mungo can run quite quickly. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to check what items I have again. Oh, he can run faster than Tarry by 10 feet. Yeah. Would he have been able to reach the, temp the uh, Temple of St. Cuthbert, get subverted, and then get to the library in time to still have rage? His rage lasts for three rounds plus his modified his constitution modifier. Uh, my constitution modifier. I, I, I think <laughs> it's rage rounds. A grand, a grand total of just over a minute. No, I, I looked at my uh, rage thing and it says it lasts for 25 rounds. Right. Then you have very much miscalculated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let, let me have a double check of that because I. <coughs> A fit of rage lasts for another round equal to three plus the character's newly improved constitution modifier. Huh. You get a plus four bonus to constitution, which is plus two to your modifier, so that's a grand total of plus five, so, which means eight. So you would have calmed down by now. Oh no, it goes to, it goes to seven with my uh no six. No. Plus four to constitution. It's plus four to your score. Yeah. So that makes my modifier which means seven. it's a plus two to your modifier. Yeah, which was five before, which makes that seven. But uh, oh wait, I'm looking at monkey. That's why. Yeah. Okay, plus eight, which means eleven rounds. Still not twenty-five. One second. Which is how long? Uh, just over a minute. Oh, well, huh. he still would have calmed down by now. In yeah, he will calm down very soon, but we might will cover this with Victor's. Uh, okay. Andy? Mm -hmm. um, if I like, if I, okay, so before I do one thing, if I open the door to where I am right now, would can any light seep in? Especially since he doesn't have a front door. And it's oh, he has a door. Oh, he does now. Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. If I open it, very can any, can it, like from windows or anything like can any light seep in? Uh, yes, quite a bit. <clears throat> Okay, well, can I open it? Can I? Okay, so can I see what I'm looking for now? Uh, if you open the door and have a torture. Um, well, no, what I was trying to do is open the door to let some light in it to see if I could see. If, if it's not enough, then use a torch. Okay, well, you're going to have to use a torch because you're human and it's pitch black. Okay, fine. Use the torch then. If I, if I can. It's obviously, trying to be as quiet as possible. Yeah. Lighting a torch is a really easy action. It's not not a huge issue. All right. Okay. Well, you strike the flint and steel, and you manage to light your torch. Uh, light booms out into the area, illuminating many strange shapes upon the wall and shadows cast upon the area. You can't see them. So is the entire room illuminated now? Yes, Basically. the whole area past the door is illuminated. You are still not in the main building and you don't know where the access to the main building is. Okay, okay well, can I use Eve's scent from you said before? She could dis determine passages. You can, but you'll be there probably all night. Fine. <clears throat> Keep looking. Okay, roll search for me. Okay, several hours pass by. Your torch begins to grow dim. The shadows upon the wall continue to grow ever more weary and horrorsome, and you are unfortunately no nearer to finding the access to the main building. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, with that in mind, I will message you what I want to do. All right. What are you up to, Muffins? What? Are you building your tower again? No. <laughs> I accidentally knocked over my bottle of rum. So the rum's gone? No, it's, it has its lid on it. Oh good, the rum isn't gone. Yeah, the rum is fine. I, I, I won't say why I was uh, leaning so far forward, so... <laughs> Just, just to ask. Oh, yeah. just to answer. Um, well, Love Tassel said. So in a rage, he goes towards the nearest place full of people. No, in in his rage, he just ran in a. He just ran in directions, and he just so happened to come to the library. Now, on his way to the library and to the Temple of Saint Cuthbert, would he have happened to come across any people? <laughs> Streets laden with people. Okay, uh, Odo, Yo. as you're in the inn, and just whilst you're sort of bandaging up and all sorts, uh, you hear a scratching at the door. What? What could that be? Uh, walk over the door and open it up. <gasps> Hello? Okay, standing outside of the door is Eve, who Hello, quickly, Eve. Who quickly uh, walks past your legs and into in, inside of the inn. Where's... Where's Victus? Arf, arf. <laughs> Would you like to make a spot check? What's that? Timmy's stuck down the well? <laughs> she's not interacting, she's literally just sleeping, pretty much. Just on the floor, doesn't really care. Oh, that's spot check. Spot... Gazing out, outside of the inn door and looking up and down the street, to the north, you can see a massive gout of black smoke and fire. Holy crap, what the heck's going on over there? Um, I need the other guys. Um, it is at this point that you can also manage to spot Mungo being mildly assisted back up towards the inn from the south oh, good, good. by Terry. <laughs> I uh, I went my way over to those tech guys to meet them halfway. Can I can I ask a question? This looks I like you're just with with the way that Mungo's character always looks like. I feel like the background should just be like a field of daisies. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like he's always going. Hug. <laughs> <laughs> I do need to ask: Would Mungo have happened to have run across any people whilst in his rage? No, not right now. So they're not dead. Good. We're getting, it's late at night. People are. You in never know. There might be somebody just taking out a trash or something. <laughs> I can just imagine Mungo just running past them and just like knocking them out whilst <laughs> running past. Clothesline. <laughs> <laughs> just on road. Hard. Mungo as the main character from any GTA game at the moment. <laughs> That would be amazing. Oh. Right, um... Guys, guys, I, I, I'm seeing fire to the north. And Eve's back. I'm worried. Um, okay, should we... check that out, because it's... When you Mungo, you're tired. M Mungo, you may be tired, but we need your help. Yeah, help friends? Th this could be serious. When you Mungo... You help friends. Good, Mungo. <laughs> Sorry, I love that in the chat. The beacon is lit! <laughs> Gone your calls for eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> right. <clears throat> should, we, should we head towards... Yeah. Um, Guys, let's go. Eve. Eve stays. Okay. Yeah, yeah Eve's asleep. Eve don't give no craps about you. I really. find it funny how since Ami Udra has died, Victor Zora is now the questionable character. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know I've not been the questionable character from the start? 
Oh, you have. I think that everything was just overshadowed by Amaudro's just pure chaoticness. Mungo! Hurry up! When you Mungo, you're tired. <laughs> He's fatigued, Wait, where, man. Where did you see where did you see the smoke? I'm unsure now. Um DM, where was it again? You can see it very clearly over the rooftops from where you're standing on the side of the river. Can you give me a pointer? Yep. Thank you. This way, guys. Wait, where did Victor's go? Harry! This is why I'm wondering. <laughs> yeah, he's evil, just, I tell you. He's evil! He, just suddenly dis he was black a second ago, like all black. Yeah. Right. He's evil! <laughs> Don't tell me he's the source right. of all of this. Odo, as you are running towards the column of smoke and fire, uh, the streets start to look very familiar to you. And it is as you arrive in a look of grim horror and realization, Heidelgrenus' laboratory is on fire. Oh, crap. Is, there, is everyone here now? Yeah. Tari's yeah. Left by the end. All right. Guys! What? what? Where's Heidelgronus? Did anybody Did find tell him? me Heidelgronus right, was yeah. a friend? What? Yes, we yeah, thought he discovered this. Like, he, he was, uh, is a friend. When he was Did invisible and he came back to life, you know. Did you guys say this before? Yeah. Yeah. You've Long already time. been in a rage. Yeah. yeah. You can't do it again, can you? You can't do no, it I, I know that. You can do it multiple times, but he's fatigued at the moment. Yeah. I know yeah. that. But if if anybody told Mungo that Heidelgronus was a friend, then Mungo will worry and Mungo will charge into the burning building to try and find him. <laughs> We must find Hydrogratus! Quickly! Uh, do, I'm going to do a spot check, see if there's any homunculi around. Okay. I'll um, do one as well, see if I can find uh, Hydrogratus. 26! <clears throat> 21. Okay, uh, Mikachi. Um, it doesn't look like anyone's raised any kind of alarm just yet. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anyone who's coming along with like gallons of pails of water yet. Um, Odo, you are able to see that there is a sort of uh, construction line, if you want to, like a, a conveyor line of uh, of homunculi who are just sort of like passing buckets of water throughout the area. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to save a lot of stuff, though. Why is Vader laughing in the background? It's really concerning me. <laughs> <laughs> Mungo will charge into the building trying to find Heidelgronus, his friend. <laughs> nice. Oh. Where did that it, it's, an alarm. it's an alarm. Oh yeah, it's twelve fifteen. Um, okay. Okay. Um, um, this means that you're going to be running into heavy smoke, Mungo. So could you make a fortitude save? Of course I can. See, the chap already knows what's going on with like Victus, and we're all in the dark. Actually, here. no, they don't. Oh really? No, okay. they, don't. they don't. They really they know don't. my roles. <laughs> That's about it. Okay. I think the thing is okay. I can't I can't really say anything, so In in your first round into the into the burning establishment you are spend it uh coughing and choking due to the intense smoke, which is not aided at all by your recent fatigue. Um will pull his shirt up over his mouth and nose. Yeah, you also need to make a DC fifteen reflex save to avoid catching on fire yourself. Okay. No. Uh, yeah. So you are now on fire, and you take one d six points of damage. Can I use um a spell? Create water. Uh, yes. How much water does it make, though? Uh, Chris, two guns of water <laughs> per level of pure <laughs> water. Oh, sorry. I just I was just letting say in the chat. Just a note, guys. I'm laughing, but Victor's isn't. And somebody just said, "Oh, okay." Andy, now. <laughs> 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 Okay, so it creates two gallons of uh, water per level. And you're level six, so that's twelve. Twelve gallons. Uh, create water, was it? Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, two gallons, so... And then you are, of course, level six presently, so that's twelve gallons, which is just over a cubic foot of water. Yay! That's useful. 
That's a couple yeah. of buckets. It's got a couple of buckets. It's helpful. What's that? Uh, oh. So I'll create water, and then... Oh, damn, it's a four level spell. <laughs> Let's control water after it's back on, because it's a uh, four. Um... Okay, I'll create water and just throw it on the fire as I can see. Uh, uh, let me have a look through the through the conditions of fire, and then I'll let you know if there's anything that you might be able to do to help. as that? Um, do, do, do. Fire traps. Maybe a wind. Wind might help. Wind wall is something you're able to do. Yeah, gust of wind blows away and knocks <laughs> down small creatures. The water the deflects cat. arrows, small creatures, and gases. Angie the cat, good job on the two buckets of water. <laughs> <laughs> two buckets is gonna help, okay? It wasn't two buckets, though. It's around. The force buckets. of gust automatically extinguishes candles, torches, and similar unprotected flames. So an entire gust gumption. of gust of wind can help. All right, I'll use gust of wind then. Okay, you're gonna aim for Mungo or anything else. I'm going to aim for everything I can see in front of me, which I'm at the front door, so any, I'm guessing the entire hallway. Okay. And Tari, what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to help the homunculi with the buckets, like, just help them <clears throat> chain. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Could you, so could you roll for dexterity for me, please? And if you have any disaster music. <laughs> disaster music? I'm waiting first. Remember <laughs> that oxygen tends to fuel fire. <laughs> <laughs> the DM said it could help. Wait, it's he said by the rules DM. of Gust of Wind spell. Yeah. <laughs> the DM is generally not on your side. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Actually, Lyg is very gracious, to be honest. He loves me. Yeah, he has been quite good. <laughs> He knows he's bad to me, I'll beat him up and it is not. It is not the job of the DM to kill everyone, because then the campaign ends and no one can have any fun. It is not also the job of the DM to make sure no one ever dies, because then again, the campaign isn't any fun. We had a but death it is the job of the DM to torture everyone during the campaign to make it more fun. Yes. Exactly. Yep. It, is my, it, is, it is not my job to murder you, but it isn't my job to go easy on you either. This has to find me the kitchen. My balls! <laughs> Oh, well, the fire reaches the kitchen. The kitchen's full of effort. Oh, right, I got a five. Guys, guys. Okay, so you, the, the homunculi are fairly small creatures, and you're, like, significantly bigger than them, even as small as you are. So consequently, you're kind of, like, more getting in their way than anything else. Um, right. Mungo, could you make a search check for me, please? <clears throat> and then... Monkey... Mm -hmm. Let's see what your thing is on this. Mungo needs to make a search check, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to go well, is it? Uh, <laughs> probably not. Okay. Mon Monkey, uh, your gust of wind spell uh, unleashes a torrent of hurricane force into the ramshackle and on fire corridors of this laboratory through the doorway. And. You are able to extinguish a 60-foot area quite handily. Uh, fires are still licking at the edges of it. You haven't extinguished the entire fire yet, but you have cleared a large section of it quite nicely. Oh, good, Musil. Yay. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, with a 12, you're going to have to. You're going to spend. You don't manage to find anyone inside of this other than small homunculi or whatever's left of them. Um, Another fortitude. Uh, Yes, another fortitude, and you'd also take another one d six for being on fire. Are you serious? If you if you die in this, and <clears throat> can I do a search uh, to see if I can find any uh, find um, Gronus inside the sixty foot area? Yeah. Yep. Yes, you may. Tell me that six that area would be extinguished. Would that not have included Mungo as well? Because Mungo was in the hall. I thought so. Uh, largely, yes, but you're still <clears throat> choking on, like, inhaled smoke. I put, I put my shirt up over my uh, mouth and nose. Yeah, after you entered, like, there isn't really much of a bonus for that in this context. Like, you did a fireman's respirator right now. <laughs> <laughs> a t-shirt does not suffice. <laughs> <clears throat> 
All right, I got 23. Okay, 23. <coughs> uh, you were able to scan the area. You recognize many, many, like, nostalgic parts of it. You managed to spot, like, four or five different deceased remains of homunculi. But so far, you cannot see any corpses or bodies or anything else that resembles Gronus. Um... Uh, Terry? Um... I don't know what else I can do. I, I tried helping with the water, but they seem to be getting in the way. I don't have any spells. Mm, you do have some spells. <coughs> yeah, but not, not, and not, no spells for, like, helping the situation. I do say... I do just want to say, don't let us, don't let this affect our role playing. However, it is highly likely that Gronus has survived this because he is a very good magician. Yeah. <laughs> can I detect evil? Uh, you magic. can, but Gronus isn't evil. You can yeah, but magic, though, can um, you? what yeah, you but can do, however, is cast endure elements. What would that do? Uh. <laughs> A creature protected by endure elements suffers no harm from being in a hot or cold environment. It can exist comfortably in conditions between minus 50 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit without having to make fortitude saves. <clears throat> so I could walk through the fires, basically. You'd still risk being set on fire, but... Uh, and it, then it doesn't quite protect... Hmm, my mistake, doesn't, it doesn't protect against other environmental hazards such as smoke, <coughs> lack of air, and so forth. You still one right, less problem, okay. though, to be fair. Yeah, you won't get on fire, but you might choke them. But at least you know. Yeah. You will get on fire. You will get on fire, um, you just won't feel the heat, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I want to detect evil, because although Gronus isn't evil, something evil could have happened to this place for it to set on fire. Like a reasonable evil estimation. Intent. A reasonable estimation. Vectus. Still banking on him being evil as hell. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't have a mustache. Like yes, you do. I've seen him on the stream. <laughs> I just missed in the goatee, <laughs> the evil goatee. I love how the chat is like completely against me now. It's hilarious. <laughs> you had us all deceived. You don't know what's going on. <clears throat> He's evil, guys. Don't trust him. You have no idea what is going on. <laughs> okay, uh, Odo, you, I believe, do still have more castings, like two more castings, three more castings, maybe, of Gust of Wind. I'll use. Uh, I'll move to another location um, within the 64 <laughs> area that I'm already cleared, and use Gust of Wind to, and, uh, to extinguish another 64 area. Okay. Uh, Mungo? He's still getting for Gronus. Uh, right. Well, you spent the last round coughing and hacking. Could you roll search again, please? <clears throat> okay. Still no sign of him. Uh, but you aren't joking, at least this round. Yay. But I am still on fire. <laughs> yes, you're on fire for another two rounds. When you mongo, you burn. <laughs> <laughs> Bang good. Uh, has muffins frozen for everyone? No, it's not for me. I think. Uh, he's frozen. Yeah, for me. yeah, he's, oh, frozen. yeah. yeah he's frozen. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> no, Mongo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you play. So, so Terry, what are you doing? I I was doing the detect evil. <clears throat> okay. Fair enough. Uh, While well, your eyes flare with divine righteousness, and you survey the area, um, you are unable to detect anything <laughs> evil here. Well, various shades of grey, but no sign of evil. Right, okay. I don't know what else I can do, apart from help with the water. To try and dampen the fire. What did you do when the purple worm was on the riverside? I, I Intelligence draw. <laughs> uh. 
Hello. Hello, Hello. Moto. Was that me? Yeah, that was yes. Yes. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so I dropped there. 14. Yeah. Okay. Thinking back to the last kind of near disaster that you faced, um, when the purple worm was on the riverside and everyone was panicking, Tarry talked to the guard to help get people like to safety and such. Perhaps she could. Perhaps she could also organize some kind of firefighting issue here. Run to the guard. <clears throat> okay, so I need to do a spot check to see if I can find any guards. You could. <clears throat> Um, Mungo is still searching inside of a burning building by some fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mungo is tenacious. Mm. I, suggest, I suggest he uh, search within the 64 areas that I've cleared. <laughs> Mungo is on fire himself. It doesn't matter. So stand in the next 60 foot area so he's extinguished. <laughs> I get another two more of these uh, gust of wind. Mungo is so. more worried but a, but a friend, a very important friend, is going to die. <clears throat> right, well, Tarry, looking around, uh, you note that the fire and the smoke has managed to attract a number of guards, and you beseech them personally to try and find some means of extinguishing this fire. Okay. So you send them running quite quickly, because, as we know, you are capable of speaking with a great degree, with a great degree of authority and, in, and uh, wisdom when you're talking in a hurry and whatnot. <laughs> Right when, now, when, when, Tarry, when, when Tarry puts her foot down, the guard starts running. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, my character's badass. Oh, yeah. We know this. You decapitated a guy twice your size. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just I have this aura of authority. <laughs> <laughs> like you're a paladin. People trust paladins. Pretty much. <laughs> she wears the pants in this relationship. She wears the full plate. I was about to say the full plate. <laughs> Okay, so Odo, you're gonna keep up with the gust of winding. Yeah, fat move to another location. And okay, is it gonna be one that Mungo is presently standing in? Yes, because I want to help. <laughs> okay, you have. I believe this is your last gust of wind. I get four in total. I've only used uh, three. This is my third one. Even. Okay. I get four level twos, four level okay. ones, five well, then, level zeros, um, one, three. Uh, okay. Could Mungo make a search roll, please? Of course he can. Whether he can pass it is another thing, though. <laughs> Just a search. Ooh. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Um, well, it's a lot easier for you to find things now because there is a tremendous gust of wind from behind you that nearly knocks you on your feet. Um, quite a cool breeze. Very calming, considering that it puts out the fire that's presently on top of you. Ooh. <laughs> and uh, clears the smoke from the immediate vicinity for the time being. Are you uh, okay, Mungo? When you mango, you want to find Cronus. Okay. <laughs> the area is in quite a substantial disarray at the moment, and pretty much are also, well, Mungo at least, is only seeing by uh, the lights of whatever fire remains. But the homunculi are capable of getting back into the area and are now clearing a much more widespread area than they could do from just the front door, where there are a lot of them were to sort of going to waste by dying. Uh, but, Mungo, spot roll, please. Another one? Ooh! Just a spot. Oh, spot. Oh, um... Yeah, and, uh, Odo, if you want to make a spot as well. Ignore, ignore the plus four, then. That's just 16. Ouch. <laughs> That's pretty bad, Ooh. actually. Okay, well... Both of you are able to notice a couple of piles that are smoldering, uh that the homunculi appear to be focusing on. Mungo will go up to them and just start ripping stuff out of a pile to find out what's underneath it. Okay, uh, strength check please, because it seems that there is a beam that has fallen down inside of this inside of this particular pile. Okay. By the way, sorry, I've been like completely concentrated on the chat. What is he doing at the moment? Uh, Mungo and Odo have spotted a pile of wreckage that is smouldering and burning still, that the homunculi are focusing their efforts to, like, douse with water. 
Okay. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, well, unfortunately, Muffins, you attempt to heft the heavy beam of heavy beam of wood, but you're unable to lift it more than a couple of inches at best. I used my final level two to give him bull strength. <laughs> oh, my God, uh, okay. We might need that. We might need it. Sorry, I've got level threes and level four, level right. ones and level zero still. I haven't used any of those. <clears throat> I'll get them back tomorrow. Okay. Sorry for the... Yeah. Uh, right, bull strength will grant an extra plus two on your yes. strength modifier, Mungo. I just thought... Well, subject, subject gains uh, plus four to strength for one minute. I just yes. thought... Which is plus two to his modifier by virtue oh, okay, of the way yeah, that that right. works. I just thought, I've been... I've been quite... I've been probably burnt quite badly. Would I happen to be bleeding? No, you're not bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Am I bleeding still? Look <laughs> around <laughs> raging, will you, please? Mungo, look! <laughs> <laughs> You could just yell out. You've just cast you've just cast bull strength on him, and now you want him to see red. <laughs> what are you, no. a matador? <laughs> you you could just yell out the great powerful saucer. Could, could. Please but we're not going to. This bull strength just being taken effect. So yeah, give him bull strength. Okay, muffin uh, Mungo, <laughs> do you want to reroll your strength then? Yeah, I would. With the plus. Plus two makes that sixteen. Yeah, not helping much. Okay. Um. You are able to heft the to heft the oaken blockade high enough such that a handful, about three or four, of the strange looking little homunculi creatures are able to pull something out from underneath it. Ooh, what do they it pull appear, out? It, it appears to be vaguely humanoid in shape. Um Mungo will pick that up and run out of the building holding it. Okay, not exactly like the recovery position, but sure. Nope, just think okay, about it. So, so o Odo, you see um, Mungo drop the oh, drop the uh, oak the oak planks and uh, pick up this figure that the homunculi have dragged from the wreckage and dart for the door. The area is still on fire. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There's not much else I can do in the way of helping for the fire. Um, apart from create water again. Ah, who wanna watch it? My Jack, the Hair, the Hair, the Hair, the What, what, what are you doing, monkey? Looking through spells, see what I can do. To help with the fire, at least. Um, <laughs> wow, I, the chat hates me now, jeez. <laughs> if it's Victor's throwing back in. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to how life is like as Ami Udra. <laughs> Andy, you've just got to learn to relish it. I just realised I've got one spell here, which... Is it Sleet Storm, or...? No, Quench, <laughs> Extinguish Non-Magical Fires on Non-Magic Items. <laughs> I could just went, Quench Entire Worlds, done. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's any... Uh, let's look at what the distances and stuff. Uh, quench Elephants, Polar Fires, uh, Fires. Uh, Extinguish Honor in... Fires in this area. Which is one twenty foot cube per level. So... 120 cubic feet. <laughs> That would have been useful, though. Yeah. All right, I'm going to use that to do the rest of the area that isn't already small. Because I've, like, well, I've pretty much put out um, 60 plus 60 is 20 plus another 60 is... Point of, point of note, the very first sentence of the quench spell, quench is often used to put out forest fires and other conflagrations. So I'm going to put out the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> With quench. Although that is my last third, but it doesn't matter. I can get them back tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, well, you success, you uh, feel the power of the earth beneath the city streets and summon it to your to your position. And the oxygen that seems to have been fueling the fire just vanishes. It just goes away. 
And with that, as we, of course, as professional firefighter folk know, uh, destroyed the fire triangle and yes. the, fires, the fire across the area in the laboratory that is still burning extinguishes immediately. Yay! Monkey saves the day. <laughs> I mean, Odo saves the day. <laughs> Saru. <laughs> Yes, I don't know if it the day. There you go. Uh, Mungo, what are you doing outside on the streets? CPR. <laughs> One breaker, oh, CP. two breaker, three he's doing, breaker. He's doing it wrong. He's One like, second. he's sucking nice in the breath, not blowing. Really, really lucky. Oh. I guess imagine Hello? pushing down the ribs and just breaking every rib, and then blowing into the lungs and just exploding One in the lungs. You guys were going. Oh. Can you, oh. can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yes. you're breaking Sorry. up a bit. I'm going slow sometimes. Okay, yeah, no. Everything was breaking up a bit there. Um, okay. What did you ask, Lion? <laughs> what you were doing outside with, um... Gronus. Uh, the, the, you don't know it's Gronus. You mean, you mean not Gronus, the... Oh, yeah, well, the, with the body. Now. Is it on fire? No. No. The homunculi I have done very well at putting it out. I would lay it down gently on the ground, observe what it is. If it is final grownness, then I will use my wand of cure light wounds. Okay, and if it isn't grownness? If it isn't grownness, <laughs> then, I will, then I will decide what to do later. It, is, it might not be a friend, in which case I don't give a shit. Okay, would you like to roll spot? <clears throat> sure thing. Come on, that plus four. Ooh! Oh, finally, a good roll. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, well... <clears throat> their clothes are heavily charred and blackened and burnt off in places. Their skin is burned badly in some places. Um, their hair is pretty heavily messed up in terms of style. But... <coughs> You are able to identify the person lying in front of you as Heidel Gronus. Yay! We found him! What? <laughs> I will use my Wand of Cure Light Wounds. Roll it. Roll it fast. 1d8? <laughs> he is dying slowly. Um, can I do Lay of Hands? Yes, you can. And I will use... Well, I'll wait to see what Plus everyone else does and see what works. Okay, plus six. And Tari, how much are you using for? Huh? How much like are you uh, helping out on the with the lay of hands here? Um, I'll do. What do you get? Six. Uh, yes. Mungo got six, and Tari <coughs> can do a grand total. I believe. Wow. Is it twelve? Yeah. Uh. No, total number of hit points of damage equal to power level times Chris bonus, so yes. So, 12. Okay, so, grand total of 18 points. So, I and heal the... if not, I can give him one myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Mungo has a watch. I just want to say, guys, there is still a total number of 47 charges left on my Wand of Cure, of, of my wand of cure Light Wounds. <laughs> just keep doing it. Good. Okay, well, the worst of the wounds uh, heal over in a flash of light, just like bathing inside of them, and the figure coughs back to life as Hylogronus uh, comes back around in a slight okay. daze. Seeing as he's still obviously in a bit of pain and stuff, uh, Mungo will use the Wonder Cure Light Wounds again. Okay. Right, that's an extra five. <laughs> <laughs> Blue for that. When you mungo, you realize Victor's no friend. When you mungo, you kill Victor's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you mungo, uh, you know realize. At this, that at this point, uh, I should also mention that the city guard have arrived with various apparatus for extinguishing fires, looking a little bit surprised to find <laughs> that they're mostly not needed now. <laughs> I did good. <laughs> is anybody bleeding? <laughs> no one is bleeding. Right, okay. Can you Odo is bandaged. Breaker. You were on fire. <laughs> <clears throat> Gro Gronus. 
Cronus, are you okay? <clears throat> fire, yes, fire. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't think that was mine. Um, hmm, it shouldn't be. Do you I don't think I made fire. Uh, did I make fire last week? No, 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 no fire. Just fire. Yes, lots of fire. Yes, there was fire. <laughs> Pun, Makachi. Mongo, Mongo, think crazy little man. Brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like you want to talk. Do you do you know how it started? Show like you... wounds again, but specifically tap his head. <laughs> yes, pardon, tiny paladin. What? Um, do you, do you remember anything like how it started, where it came from? I think I was writing a term <laughs> paper, and then there was fire, lots of fire. Quite a bit of fire, actually. Um, I don't remember the last time I made Alchemist fire. That's very strange. Also oil. I haven't been using oil. What about pure ethanol? Oh, got rid of that weeks ago. Uh, it'd be a bit, but no, 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 you, you can't. You, hmm? uh, right. Grown kind of like vaguely gestures through the door. So. You mentioned oil. Yes, 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 right there. Oh, right, really, we no, need come to, on. We need to inspect this. Because that means it was an ar arson attack. <clears throat> when you mongo, you're very tired. Does <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ronis have to sell five is... NGs or anything like that? Ronis <laughs> right. is fake, this is mongo confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Right. It's so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag one big this town. <laughs> Loud cheering. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they've all gone to one conclusion. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Guys, I've been planning stuff. I've been planning stuff, not specifically this, from stream one. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Like, from stream one. Uh, you're going to have to have a bit of a think about it. How long were we in the sewers? I think it was like, what? Um... Six hours. Six, yeah, six hours. Yeah. We yeah. spent six hours searching for it. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. it, it how means, much I think passed afterwards. Who knows? I think it means like from when we got um, no, when we got, got conked out and everyone else didn't know where we got, how we got and the rhythm. Yeah, but I'm saying you, yeah, I know, but I'm also saying that you spent six hours searching for. Oh the, yeah. For them yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey, you are our spy. Give us the information <laughs> we need. I don't know the information. I'm just uh, speculating. He's evil. <laughs> uh, remember, I can't be evil because uh, Tari did detect evil on yeah, all of I us. Yeah, I did detect evil. Although you could have turned evil afterwards. Yeah, you could possibly, have been possessed. <laughs> but it's, uh, possibly, who knows what's happened? But as I anyway, uh, the, the guards who have found themselves like without a use for their firefighting skills are taking uh, Gronus to get some treatment and help because they're still a bit uh, shaken Mungo and they're is... also sealing off the area right at the moment. Mungo is protecting Gronus. Right, I'm Mungo, gonna Mungo. Trust... Mungo I'm is gonna fine. Help. The guards are uh, friends. The guards friends. They'll help. Yeah. yeah, the guards are always friends. They never try to kill anyone. Help Mungo us. Mungo worried, <laughs> but Mungo trusts. Wait. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. No. Why was that? Why were you smiling? Because uh, <laughs> I remember the last. <laughs> I remember when a guard wasn't so helpful to you yeah, when exactly. you beheaded it. Mungo, go with the guards. Mungo, follow us, guards. Follow guards, yeah. keep growing us safe. But let them do what they need to do to make him better. If they Mungo hurt will... him, if they Mungo... hurt him in any way, other than, like, other than, like, patching him up, report back to us. Mungo, uh, I don't think that Mungo would uh, report back to you if that happened. I think that Mungo would fly off the rage. <laughs> Mungo killed all the guards them. in the world. <laughs> Mungo is going to follow them about three centimeters behind the, cl the one closest to Gronus. Right. right. Literally uh, three centimeters behind. Uh, Love Turtles, that was yes. quite a while ago. Um, yeah, and quite a feat it was. Yeah, he, he basically went to attack us, so I attacked back and in self-defense managed to lop his head off. He kind of went. Oh, he, was a, he was a he was a corrupted guard. Yeah. 
So uh, the, only, the, the only people who know about it is me and Tari. Army did, but you know he's dead. <laughs> yeah. And I was a wolf. Yeah. Um. Right. I I'm gonna head into the the direction that Gronus was pointing. Um. When I mentioned oil. Okay. Uh. Would you like to do a spot check, please? And I'll follow yeah. Tari if I want to help. I'll do a spot as well. Let's see if I can help out with the looks. Thirteen. Nineteen. Okay, well, I mean, catch you can't make it out quite as well as Odo can, but you are able to discern that there is a sort of rounded area inside of the building that seems to have burned quite a bit more than its surroundings immediately, um, suggesting that this part was where some kind of accelerant was applied. You're also right. able to gradually find some sort of, like, uh, stony glowing ember-like rocks in sort of like a small pool that's uh, also next to some fractured glass that has been charred by the heat, suggesting that maybe this was alchemist fire. Right. Um, wasn't Gronus looking into the poison and everything for us? Mm. When we last left him? <coughs> yes. <coughs> yeah. So <laughs> could this possibly have anything to do with looking into the purple worm, maybe? Seeing as it was an attack in the city. Is this our character in character? In character. Okay. Mungo hey. does not know because he is currently <laughs> up about three centimeters hey. behind him. Well, it's, ca it's kind of in character and out of character. I'm like questioning what, um, I don't know. It's trying to come up with any kind of- So something. maybe someone didn't want us to know what was happening? Yeah. Or why? I say, I say it's so a way of, he doesn't want to pay up. <laughs> Cheap bastard. It was the mayor and Victor is under a spell. Um... Do we know this is alchemist fire? Uh, you can't personally identify it as that because you're not an alchemist. But if you had to wager a guess, it looks like alchemist fire. Right. Um, do we know any other alchemists in the area? Wait, alchemist is fire is a magic, isn't it? Is it a magical um, form of fire? No, it's an alchemical solution. Okay. Well, I must like. Um, uh, <laughs> Plot twist, Arme is back and wanted to get Gronus back for the potion testing. <laughs> <laughs> It's the spirit of Arme. <laughs> Take it over Victus' well, body. Guys, on a different subject, when you mungo, you like beetles. <laughs> right? Let's ignore the whole thing about Arme coming back to life and totally... <laughs> <laughs> right now, don't talk about it. Um, Arme came back as evil and possessed Victus to get revenge, apparently. <laughs> yep, that's the way, that's it. Sorted. We know the answers. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Arme came back as evil? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Arme came back. You were evil. And is, as a matter of fact, evil. <laughs> Arme came back as intentionally evil, not just accidentally <laughs> evil. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> right, fair enough. Um, all right, so we've seen that there's a, a area with um, accelerant and mm -hmm. what seems to be an alchemist fire. So, Do we know what the main room that where it started? Do we recognize the the room at all? The place has been utterly trashed by the fire and the wind and everything. It's it, it's virtually unrecognizable <clears throat> now. Right. Bear in mind the corridors originally weren't structural. They were just like piles of junk that happened to form corridors. <laughs> right. Um all that's running through my head at the moment, out of character, all that's running through my head right now is the fact that Gronus was helping us look into the purple worm in some way, and then this happens. I, I think it has something to do with the purple worm. <laughs> yeah, where is Victus on this map? I just, just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, he's disappeared. He's gone to heaven. I know where he is. It's a strip club. Um, 
You see me with a marching band, just suddenly. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 question about where Victor's is. Could we query that? Like, wonder where he is? Seeing as we haven't seen him all day. You're free to wonder. <laughs> yeah, huh? but there's no one around to The last time you saw me, I said I was heading out to the market. I did say that. I left the bar where yeah. the uh, tavern, and I said I'm going I'm going to gather a few items. I remember that. Um... I don't think there's anything else we can do at the... At the house, because... I mean, it is pretty late now as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just want to say, in response to the chat, out of character, <laughs> everybody blaming Andy for this, the implications of it point quite heavily towards Andy. However... It would make no sense. Yeah, it is entirely possible... He has no motive. Exactly. It is entirely possible, but it is just a coincidence that Andy happened to be away doing the nefarious deeds, which we could just overhear into through this. But it is also entirely uh, possible that Heidel Gronus's place being burned down is just a coincidence that it happened at the same time as Andy being all suspicious. I mean, it happened like a few, only a few days after like multicolored smoke erup erupted from the place. And also keep in mind that it's highly, highly likely that I'm just egging it on because it's fun. <laughs> yeah, as I said, as I, as I said, there's a lot of st this campaign has got a lot of twists and turns behind it. Yeah. Oh yeah. And none of Do, us know what will they we, are. Will we find out tonight <laughs> something that you've been? You like... might. Well, you could possibly get some more information, maybe. But it's not. I'm gonna give. Well, I'm, okay. I'm gonna say. You're not going to find anything standing where you are now. Right, okay. You've got to stand two inches to the left and there is a secret button that's hidden Exactly. <laughs> right. Once you press that, you'll be teleported to the astral dimension where the cosmic owl... Do a spot check for hidden walls and levers and buttons. Well, you have that power. You Where's have the test for doors? Sense magic. <laughs> I can sense magic, but we're in Gronus' place, which is pretty much magic everywhere. Guys, guys, Arme Udro, detect secret doors would have come in useful. <laughs> <laughs> it would have. Um, Where is Mungo headed now? Because I know he's with... with the taking he's he's the following uh, the guards who have uh, who have taken Gronus to like get treatment and help and whatnot. I'll get treatment, that's fine, okay. Right, um, I'm going to do some more searching of um, Gronus's place and see if I can find any clues anywhere. Cause... Okay, uh, Odo, what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to go in the opposite direction to which way she's searching the house um, and hope to try and find some sort of clue as to where, well, Victor's is and also how this all started. <laughs> okay, uh, could you both make search checks? Searches. Search. I think I already did it once. I'm just gonna say. I roll spot check for lies. <laughs> say, really? Oh god! Wow, we find nothing. Okay. Yeah. okay. After after a couple hours of searching, you're unable to find anything that particularly helps uh, you discern whether like Victus was here or where Victus might be from here or uh, anything more than this looks a hell of a lot like arson. Um. It is also at this point that the guards are kind of trying to tidy the area up in terms of sealing the scene, so they have asked you to leave. Right. Nice. Um, Very well. Can I inform the guards that this does look like an arson attack? Possibly alchemist fire? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, you can. With the oil fuel yeah. sauce. Yeah. Right. Don't do that in character? RP? No. Yeah, it's a bit late for that, anyways. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's like one o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was just going to say, it might be time to wrap it up. Plus, it would yeah, be a so, cliffhanger to wrap it up on. So, Terry heads back to the thankfully unsavage uh, temple of St. Cuthbert. <laughs> and Odo, you head back to your room at the Bar. inn. Where there is something waiting for you at the inn. Oh, yay. You open the Eve. door to your room where you. 
sort of like hit the door on the foot of a prone figure on the floor. A what, sorry? Prone figure. They prone. are face down on the floor, their clothes are cut, and they have some uh, flesh wounds on them. It looks remarkably like Victus. Um. They appear to be unconscious. Dun, 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 That's where dun, we ended. Uh, <laughs> that is where we ended. <laughs> oh, God. What has happened to I told you it's not like what it seems. Guys, Victus guys. is evil. It's his plot. He <laughs> thinks he can hide in my room to make me feel like it was, it's not him, but it was him. Guys, evil. I'm, guys I'm just going to do the incredibly deep voice voice over here. Hmm? What has happened in the story of Dungeons and Dragon Hats? It seems like Victor Zora might be, a, might be responsible for the attempted murder of Heino Gronus. However, in recent events, very recent events, it seems that he might not be. Tune in next time for Dungeons and Dragon Hats. I hope you all enjoyed the stream. <laughs> it was of, uh, complex. <laughs> <laughs> I am extremely tired. I think I'm just going to go straight to bed after this. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. I'm going to call it here, yeah. Same obviously, here. thank you everyone for coming along and watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one specifically. Thank you to Lying, obviously, yeah. for being our, our overlord and our gracious <laughs> one at that. Thank you all uh, constantly for your experience. Thank you to uh, Monkey, Magachi, and Muffins for joining. If you guys want to do any yep. shout outs at all, tune yourself. in tomorrow uh, on twitch.tv for especially the Avid Monkey at 6 pm for me, Makashi, playing some Minecraft and maybe some Cards Against Humanity. Uh, and over at twitch.tv slash Lying in Bedmon at 9 pm GMT. For uh, some Yog Dwarves live on Tuesday. Um, I would like to make a shout out to Ross. Um, Ross isn't watching this, and he probably never will do. Ross but... Noble? No, no, no. Ross Ross Barash. Um, he, he's he's a friend of mine. Anyway, shout out to Ross. Uh, he's never going to see this, which, if anything, just makes it even more comforting. <laughs> Bye, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Right. Bye. Also, new outro. Uh, okay. You'll see in a second. Yay. Well, it's the same outro, but just with Mongo in it, that's all. Modified. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Modified outro. See you. Ne okay, so hold Yeah, it's also next weekend, next Saturday, 9 p.m. Same time uh, will be the next D&D uh, Cityscape. I will also be streaming on same Tuesday right. at 8.30 p.m. G GMT, just general games and stuff like that. Bye. Guys, same dragon time, same dragon place. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Ciao!